Welcome everyone to another Cook with Jace episode. Proudly brought to you by Thought Fox Media, Crema Coffee Garage, and of course, Enliven Nutrition. So, Cook with Jace, all about hard, fast cooking, also about something that's going to be cost effective. So, what do we have today? We've got a baked salmon with orange, soy, and also a little bit of a chili kick with a bit of oregano in there. You're noticing that it's not a salmon fillet. Some of the feedback that we've had is that we need to be more cost effective with Cook With Jace, especially when we wanna get the fantastic health benefits of seafood into your life. So how do we do this? We really need to look at how we can get a more cost effective source of salmon, really, and that's gonna be tinned salmon. So I've got two large tins of pink salmon. Now, I know a lot of people are gagging at the moment. They're probably running for the hills because everyone knows when you open a tin of salmon, how do you get rid of the tinned salmonness? It's a thing, okay? It's something that you can't escape. We need to mask it and we need something that's hard and fast cooking to really fit within the criteria that is cooked with Jace. So I'm gonna show you how to mask it, guys. We're gonna bake this with these ingredients and I guarantee you, again, even our producer that hates seafood, he's gonna love this one as well, guys. So what are we gonna to do to start? So let's just grab a baking dish and if you've seen Cook with Jace before, I have mentioned to buy a good quality Baking paper. It's one of those things that if you skimp on a baking paper, you get what you pay for. You're gonna be cleaning your pan, and let's face it, we're not Jamie Oliver. We don't have a team to do our cookware cleaning for us. Okay, so when we're doing those uh, cook with Jamie in under 30 minutes meals, it's a complete catastrophe in terms of mess. I don't want you doing that, okay? We've got a one dish here that we're actually gonna cook in, sub 300 calories per serve. So this is gonna serve four people. So what do we need to do? First and foremost, grab your oranges. Got some beautiful oranges at the moment. And I literally want you to quarter them. It's that simple. You'll notice when I'm chopping again, I'm using my Harbour Bridge, holding this round and rather unstable fruit, quite stable, same again. No risk of chopping your fingers up, yeah? And that's all we need to do. Now, all we've got to do is get this salmon into your dish. Very good. Okay. Now, the best thing you can do here is to actually push it down a little bit, let it flake apart, and by all means you can do this with fresh salmon if you've got the budget to do it. You'll get a much more enhanced flavour content, and we're not going to have that pink salmon mess again. So spread it out. Because in the oven, you're actually going to get a little bit of a crust form on top, especially with all of these ingredients. Let me just wash my hands. Okay. So, straight on there. Dry ingredients first, yeah? Oregano. Now, we're not doing it from a height just for show. You're actually going to get a more even coverage rather than dumping all the oregano in one area. Dried chilli. This is optional. I know some people have chili and it completely blows their heads off. Dried chili is fairly concentrated. Uh, it's gonna give you a bit of a kick. We we'll want some sort of a heat in there as well. So your other thing that you could do if you've got a little bit more of a budget, use some fresh chili, take the seeds out, okay? Get the larger size ones. They're generally got less heat than those little bullet ones. So if you're cooking for someone else, it's probably worth checking what their heat tolerance is anytime that you use a chili. Okay, now, reduce sodium soy. Honestly, it tastes the same as regular soy and you've got a hell of a reduction in the sodium content. Soy's already really high in salt. We know that salt for some people can be something to increase your blood pressure. Tin salmon, it's got a decent salt content already so we don't need heaps of it, okay? So literally, just pour this on top and literally place these oranges around the outside. Tilting them down. We've got an oven preheated to 220, okay? Really, really hard heat is what we want out of this, guys. Okay, it's gonna break this orange down. It's gonna leach and caramelize the natural orange juices and it'll go all the way throughout the pan. All we've gotta do is chuck this in the oven and we're good to go. And we're back guys, this is the final product. Looks absolutely amazing, it's screaming hot, so let me just get the oven mitt on just to tilt this over and show you what we're looking at. The orange is gonna give a 
massive hit of sweetness to this and it's a natural sweetness, okay? We've got the soy in there for that salty vibe. We've got that chili flake in there for a little bit of heat. And I guarantee you, the tin salmonness is gone out of this completely. And that's exactly what we want. We want everyone to be consuming more fish, okay? It's a great way to actually improve your health. Don't forget those omega-3, the health benefits associated with it is really becoming the silver bullet in terms of health and nutrition, okay? So many things that it can help with and look at that real antioxidant value of what you're getting and the anti-inflammatory value as well, guys. So we're gonna portion this out. Again, the crew's gonna be into it who said they didn't like seafood. Now they do and I'm sure you will as well. So until next week, we've got another Cook with Jake's episode. I look forward to seeing you then.